Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's episode, we are going to discuss about dynamic RLS with profile and users in Power BI. What does that mean? Well, what if one user in a profile that has access to many locations or rows data? Or what if one profile has many users? By this, I mean to say that suppose there is a manager who has access to multiple locations of data or there is a location where multiple users are working or they are getting the data for that particular location. That means in this case there would be many to many relationship. So in order to solve the problem of many to many relationship, we have to apply certain logic so that we can apply dynamic role level security over there. So in this video, I'm going to let you know everything about it and how you can set up for multi-profile RLS into your Power BI reports. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. In this video, we are going to use certain index functions. This is prerequisite. Whenever you are working on RLS, you should have knowledge about DEX. And if you don't have, then please check out our DEX and this tutorial on our YouTube channel and you will get to know everything about DEX. So these are the DEX functions that we are going to use in today's video. The very first is select columns. Then we are also going to use related. Then we are going to use filter and then user principal name. Now let's talk about the tables or the data that we are going to use. In today's video, we are going to use four different tables. That means our very first table would be employee table, which is on your right hand side. In this table, you would have employee ID, employee name and their email addresses. Second table would be employee profile table, where you would get the employee ID and their related profile. These profile IDs are basically the IDs in your profile table. For example, on your extreme left hand side, there is a profile table where you can see profile IDs are 1, 2, 3, 4 and these are related to certain locations for their sales managers. Now at last we are going to talk about the sales table. In the sales table you would have your dates, you would have their sales and the profile ID. Since it's a row level security, so we are going to apply security on row basis. That means who can access one particular row. So that's how it's going to work. Now let's talk about the data model. So as you can see, I have four different tables over here. Employee table, employee profile table, profile table and sales table. Over here, this is one very important thing. You should know how the relationship propagates into Power BI or in a data model. You should know over there where is the direction of arrow head. For example, between employee table and employee profile table, you would get to know that arrow is going towards employee profile table. That means your one sided of employee table is going to filter the employee profile table. However, employee profile table cannot filter the profile table because the arrow is towards the employee profile table, not towards the profile table. So in order to walk around like how you can filter this table interchangeably or one table to another or another table to the first one, you have to make the relationship bidirectional. And for that, you have to make certain settings which I'm going to show you in this video. However, we are not going to follow that approach. That approach would work certainly but we will not use it. So there's a reason and the reason is performance. It's going to cost you a lot of performance. Your report would be slow, calculations would take a lot of time and that's not going to be the optimized way to work on this. So in this one, we are going to use a DAX function that we are going to apply on profile table. That means over here, employee address table, whenever somebody is going to log in into your system, they are first gonna check this employee address table with the user principal name. Suppose merida.biconsultingpro.com is going to log in, then first it's going to match their address over there. Once it's going to match, then it's going to over their employee profile table. That means you can get the corresponding profile ID and that profile ID once we get, we are going to apply over there and we will get corresponding IDs from there. 
For example, in our case, if you will go back, you will see this Merida, it has employee ID 3 and corresponding to employee ID 3, there are two profile IDs 1 and 2. Now, if I'll go back over here, you will see Merida has this employee ID 3. Then from this table, you will get to know that Merida has profile ID 1 and 2. Now, once we get those two profile ID, we can filter this table and then we will get those IDs and that ID is going to filter this sales table. So that's how we are going to use it. In Power BI, we have two very special relationships that is one to one and many to many. You can read about this on your screen or you can post your screen. Only in these two relationships, you can apply the bidirectional relationship. Otherwise, you cannot. And that's what we can use it for applying RLS. But as I mentioned, we are not going to use it, but I'm going to show you this, how it works. Now it's time for demo. So let's have a look and find out how. It now it's time for demo. So let's head over to my Power BI desktop. So right now, guys, I'm on my Power BI desktop. And over here, let me first show you the data model, which is this one. I have already explained you the different data, which is inside this table. And over here, you can see the relationships over here which is based on employee ID between employee profile table and employee table and over here it is based on your profile ID between profile table and employee profile table and at last between the profile table and sales table it's based on ID and profile ID. The one thing that I was just discussing about the very special relationship between these two tables if you would like to use the bidirectional relationship you have to come under this cross filter direction here you have to make it both and then you have to apply a security filter in both directions. Now you can see that you can filter out the employee profile table with profile table or profile table with the employee profile table. However, we are not going to use this one. So let me just remove this one. Okay, so this is our data model right now. Now our next step is going to be the same as in our previous videos. First we have to create the role and we have to apply a DEX function on a particular table. So let's head over to my report pane. Over here, I'm going to come under modeling tab and under modeling tab, there is a manage roles. I'm going to create a role and I'm going to name it profile. And now the DEX functions that I'm going to use it, it's on the profile table because I want to filter it out the IDs. Once I'm going to filter it out the IDs for profile table, it's going to filter it out my sales table. That means the corresponding roles from the sales table. So let me do this. And over here, I have to write a DAX. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to write a DAX. I'm going to paste the DAX as it is. Otherwise, it's going to take a lot of time, but I'm going to make you understand how to use it. So guys, this is the DAX expression that we are going to use over here. So guys, let me break it down for you. What I'm doing over here, first, I'm using this related for employee email address. That means once a user is going to log in into the Power BI services, then employee table is going to match their email address with the email address is in the employee table. Once you have this, then I am filtering out this employee profile table based on that. So once my employee profile table is going to filter it out, then what I'm doing, I'm trying to get the only the profile ID from employee profile table. And with that profile ID, I'm using in function. For example, for Merida, we have profile ID one and two. So it's going to filter it out based on those IDs, this profile table. So you have to now just click on save button. So guys, now we have set up everything over here. That means we have created a role. Then we have also set up the DEX expression inside it. The next thing is that you have to publish your report on Power BI services. And there you have to add different email addresses inside that role. So guys, now my report has been published. So guys, right now I'm on my Power BI service account and over here you can check this Merida at BIConsultingPro.com. So let me go under the shared with me and here this is the report. So once you will log in over here, you would see you are only looking at the data corresponding to profile ID 1 and 2. So this is the way you can set up dynamic role wall security with profile and users in Power BI. In the next video, we are going to talk about dynamic role level security and its configuration with organizational hierarchy in Power BI. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.